Hello and welcome to the first episode of Closure Tip of the Day screencast. This screencast will cover uh, various tips, techniques and tools related to the Closure programming language. My name is Juraj Martinka and I'm the author of Curious Closure Programmer blog hosted at CuriousProgrammer.net. Let's get started with our first episode. In this episode I will show you how to use Cider Debugger, which is an alternative to the common print line debugging technique. I am using Spacemax in evil mode, so your keyboard shortcuts might be different than mine. Let's start by evaluating our function by pressing comma EF and call that function expecting uh, 5 as a result and as we can see we got a uh, wrong result. Uh, in this case the error is pretty obvious but uh, let's try to turn on side debugger and uh, evaluate expressions one by one to see how all that works. So let's move back to the function declaration, press comma D B and this instructs CIDR to put uh, breakpoints uh, inside our function so we can see intermediate results. Now when we uh, call our function back again, uh, CIDR will take us through the expressions and show us all intermediate results. Uh, most of the time I just use uh, N keyboard shortcut to uh, step through the expression y by 1. So let's see how that works. Uh, in the beginning x s is equal to 3, x times 2 is 6 and wait a minute we actually intended to put there x squared not uh, x multiplied by 2 so that's our error. We can of course continue to evaluating, evaluating the function. The problem is the same for y and as a result we get square root of 14 instead of 25. Okay, so this is pretty easy to fix. Let's evaluate our function. And now breakpoints are cleared. Call it again and we have proper result. Okay, let's now move to a bit more interesting example. We have two functions. Uh, the sum up function is calling small bug function and uh, we expect uh, sum up 15 to print OK. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we see error. So press uh, comma db to debug sum up function, call it, and now go step by step to see what the actual values are. We have n equal to 15 small mark 15, it, through six one, sequence it uh, looks reasonable but unfortunately we can't see all of the elements so let's move on. This looks reasonable and here's probably the problem. Press P and uh, inspect value small back N. And this will show us all of the contents return sequence and we can immediately see that we only have 14 elements although we expected to get uh, 15 elements from 1 to 15. So press Q to close this one. Press uh, Q again to quit the debugger. And uh, now we can easily fix our error, evaluate small bug and uh, evaluate uh, again and now we see that uh, the sum is correct and we will get a OK print to console. Instead of uh, manually inspecting the value of small bug n, uh, we can also tune CIDR to increase the size of a sequence that is shown when we step through the function. So we need to set side debug print length variable to somewhat larger value, let's say 30. Uh, after the, this we need to restart CIDR. Okay, we are now up and running, so let's try debug the function again. Call it and 
Now we can see all of the 15 elements. So it's immediately clear if there are or all of them or some one is missing. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episodes.